Started just over 19 years ago, SpaceX is worth $74 billion, and they've single-handedly managed to achieve major milestones most nations can only dream of. You may know Elon Musk and Gwen Shotwell as the power duo that makes SpaceX tick. However, what you may not know are the stories of the trials and tribulations they have had to face as a team to reach the heights they currently occupy. In today's video, we will fill you in on all of that and more. But first, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload new videos. Done? Let's get started. Gwen Shotwell gained a passion for engineering after attending a panel discussion hosted by a mechanical engineer at the Illinois Institute of Technology. As a result, she would go on to receive a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering at Northwest University and a Master's Degree in Applied Mathematics. It would take quite some time for her to indeed come into her own as an engineer in any capacity, starting out with a job in management training at Chrysler Corporation. Her first real experience working in the scientific field came from the Aerospace Corporation, a federally funded American nonprofit. As a researcher, she contributed technical work on a space research and development contracts for the United States government. As part of the Aerospace Corporation, the opportunity would finally come for Shotwell to finally perform active work on a space mission, the STS-39. The STS-39 was the code name for the 12th flight of the Discovery Space Shuttle, and Shotwell's experience working on it would serve as a harbinger of things to come. She left the Aerospace Corporation in 1998 to take up an offer at Microism Incorporated, a private corporation specializing in space launch systems and composite building material for spacecraft. Serving as a member of the executive committee there, she would learn the intricacies of managing an aerospace company. Her position in Microsem Incorporated would see her take responsibility for the company's business development, which is undeniably a job role that keeps a company afloat. Stakes were definitely higher than usual as aerospace companies are some of the most capital-intensive types of companies. Around this time, an acquaintanceship was built with Elon Musk through fellow Microism colleague Hans Koingsman. Musk had left PayPal a very successful man looking for new roads to pave. He had founded SpaceX in 2002 with a stated vision and aimed to drive down spaceship launching costs through proprietary engines and other key components. He was able to explain it all to Shotwell in a way that led her to be impressed by the practicality of Musk's ideas. She convinced Musk to hire a full-time employee to look after the company's business development, and two weeks later, she would become that employee herself. Deciding to join SpaceX did not come easy, as she had a long list of considerations to take seriously at the age of 40, the least of which was the great business risk involved. According to Shotwell herself, she took the job offer through a phone call to Musk in which she said, Look, I've been an idiot and I'm going to take the job. This is exactly how Elon Musk and Gwen Shotwell found themselves working together. It can be argued that Shotwell's business expertise and experience working with government aerospace firms was absolutely necessary for SpaceX to make any sort of headway. This is because of the time the worldwide space industry had fallen into a bit of malaise with US, EU, and Russian aerospace projects moving along very slowly. A culture of complacency was created in the worldwide aerospace arena, and the parties involved were not intent on dramatically changing things or letting any other entity to do so. Born South African, Elon Musk had little knowledge of the political terrain, but Shotwell was familiar with it in spades through more than a decade working with government space agencies. He needed someone with the same bold confidence that he possessed, but also the sophistication needed to navigate the political terrain surrounding the aerospace industry. At SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell would experience a kind of working freedom that she was unable to experience at her previous workplaces. Her previous workplaces were often burdened with bureaucratic planning phases and restrictive formal presentations that required clinical language to be used by its employees. In Elon Musk's management style even today, value is given to tangible work and realistic action plans. Under the direction of Musk and Shotwell, the SpaceX team would begin to gain great credibility in 2006. 
In 2006, they were a very small aerospace firm employing 80 employees, but NASA still saw it fit to award them the most important contract. This was a landmark contract to develop a vehicle to refuel the International Space Station ISS, and the persuasive business-oriented presentation won by Shotwell. The next windfall for Shotwell would come in the form of being made president of SpaceX and effectively the company's executive leader aside from Elon Musk. Slowly but surely, SpaceX ended up succeeding in this contract in 2012. It was the year in which SpaceX Dragon capsule docked at the International Space Station, making them the first private aerospace company to accomplish such a feat. They had also been making progress on their Falcon rocket design, which was also essentially the brainchild of Gwen Shotwell. She was able to make a successful funding grant pitch to the US military in 2003 to assist in the building and design of the rocket. Shotwell's success would later ensure the Falcon's total success in turn in 2015 following a series of failures over the years. It took the collective determination and grit exhibited by both Musk and Shotwell to carry on through the expensive failures and keep the workforce motivated to build up the success of Dragon and Falcon 9. Shotwell's contributions would result in the beginning of the era of the non-disposable rockets, and we are still in its early stages. Another example of Gwen Shotwell's skills and contracts benefiting Elon Musk immensely was when SpaceX was able to capture an exclusive long-term lease for a rocket launch site from NASA at the Kennedy Space Center. That specific site was used to launch American astronauts to the moon, and now it has become one of the most important locations at the disposal of SpaceX. Elon Musk is a leader who typically leans on more technical side of projects and plans owning to his chemistry and computer science qualifications. Despite his excellent managerial and business skills, he has needed Shotwell to help him through issues in the company he could not deal with. Former NASA administration Charles Bolden was quoted as saying, I very seldom dealt with Elon because Gwen ran the company. Indeed, she has gained much praise for serving as a mediator and cushion for Elon Musk, whose workaholic practices often risk the alienation of employees away from SpaceX. She has also assisted him in making the right political and diplomatic choices when it came to the government men SpaceX has to deal with in order to get approvals, licensing, and funding. It can be said that she also serves as some sort of public relations advisor for Musk, although many may also argue that it is part of her duties as the overall business manager for SpaceX. Shotwell's diligence and friendship with Musk would ensure that she would rise to become one of the most trusted employees as she is the only other company official who has the authorization to clear press statements herself and represent him at launch sites and any other events. If current and former SpaceX employees are to be believed, Shotwell more or less commands full decision-making freedom and can make decisions in Elon Musk's stead. Even though Shotwell possesses a great deal of power within SpaceX and could theoretically run the company into greater success herself, she has not given up on her friendship with Elon Musk. She explicitly stated on CNBC that she loves working for Elon and noted that he is a great boss who is funny, fair, and an inspirational leader. These words clearly indicate how close they are with a shared vision for SpaceX that they are passionate about working together towards. As Elon Musk's friend and self-sufficient contributor to SpaceX mission, she has been unafraid to give her honest, unbiased projections directly in response to Elon Musk's personal wants for SpaceX that may be out of reach. Such a high degree of transparency and trust between top management officials leads to a flourishing of idealistic corporation that brings endless benefits to the company. It can be confidently said without a doubt that the working relationship between the two will continue to bring many benefits to SpaceX, a cutting edge leader in aerospace technology. So what do you think of the journey Gwen Shotwell had shared with Elon Musk? Do you think such interpersonal dynamics always result in good things for any endeavor? Share your thought in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be reminded of new episodes. We will see you again soon.